California. Gavin Newsom celebrates a small business Saturday while actively smothering them. <laughs> yeah, this is insane. And I thought that this was a parody account because Gavin Newsom tweeted about supporting small businesses after he shut down outdoor dining in California. And here's the thing. Yes, lots of people are dying of COVID. I understand that this is actually happening, but there is no science supporting that these outbreaks are starting at outdoor dining restaurants. They're, how come you can be allowed in Costco when it's packed and you can't go to a small little local bodega? You can't go to a small local store. This seems, again, like an unfair deal for people who have... Gi- Corporations can handle this. There's no policies that make sense they shut down the playgrounds but they didn't shut down the playgrounds at schools and guess who generally goes to playgrounds kids who don't have yards not everybody has a yard in in california Mm -hmm. it's usually the lower income families that hurt from this shit they did a study in the All of the high income earners are actually doing better. And 20% of the low income earners are getting crushed. Yeah. There are less jobs for them. The AB5 in California is crushing them. Then you have the lockdown. There's no gig economy. It's this is not fair to the wrong people. Here's what makes me crazy I don't understand how anyone can look at Gavin Newsom and Andrew Cuomo and Trump and not see them all as the same person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that makes no sense to me. If you aren't purple by the end of the past four years or the end of this past year in particular, I don't understand what you're paying attention to. Yeah. Because all of our leaders are hypocrites and they all are on the same team and they're more than happy to keep us divided so that we can all fight amongst ourselves while they dick around in their fucking mansions. The only reason this pandemic went so horribly wrong in this country is because every one of our leaders, top to bottom, from the federal to the state to the local governments, looked at this as a way to grab more power before they looked at it as an emergency that they needed to deal with. Mm -hmm. That was why it went so sideways. Yeah, We should all be mad at all of them. It it, it makes me, uh, I get like goosebumps. I get so mad at this. And then it's infuriating to see everybody fighting with each other. Mm -hmm. Stop fighting with each other. We're all getting (laughs) fucked. All of us. Yeah. All of us like working class, low income, middle class, we're all, if you are anywhere not in the millionaire segment, you are bending over and taking it up the butt right now, no matter where you live. Well, this is perfectly highlighted by the LA bar owner who was, she, there was this video and she was outraged over an outdoor dining area for a movie company approved by Mayor Garcetti set up directly across from her outdoor dining area, which was shut down. So this is my place, the Pineapple Hill Grill and Saloon. Mayor Garcetti has approved being set up for for a movie company. They have not given us money and they have shut us down. We cannot survive. Tell me that this is dangerous, but right next to me as a slap in my face, this is safe. This is dangerous. Yeah, this video went viral as it should have. It made me emotional to even watch, as it should, if you have any kind of heart or soul, watching these people who are fighting for their livelihoods. It's, I feel like the people who are making these rules have never run a business of their own, a small business. They don't understand. And then the people who are saying, oh, you need to stay home, they're writing think pieces and getting paid to be home you not everybody can stay at home Mm -hmm. when I was waiting tables I used to laugh at how often my friends who had jobs would text me all day long um, and they'd be like where are you I'm like I'm fucking working yeah (laughs) like I work a job where I can't be texting and tweeting all day long I have to be on my feet present in the job those are the jobs that are getting crushed right now or they're gone completely it's crazy because there's no real science to back any of this stuff up so show us the science party of science it's not right that these outdoor dining areas are what's spreading yeah and then they say that the science is in a cdc study that was for indoor dining right right and it's from march yeah and so they're taking indoor dining and using it for outdoor dining all these restaurants spent money to comply they reduced their capacity they like put up plexiglass where they needed to and uh, people are sitting outside it's the small groups and small gatherings yeah. of people going over to their friend's house yeah. when not wearing masks. That's what's transmitting This is it. all from the election. 
I guarantee, and Thanksgiving and uh-huh. election parties, Thanksgiving, Halloween, which was kind of forced inside because nobody could go trick or treating. All of these kinds of rules force more people inside. People are literally going crazy because they haven't had human fucking contact. People are getting depressed, suicidal, addicted, and then they reach out because they're losing their minds to their friends thinking like, oh, this is my squad or my pod or my whatever you want to call it, and we need to get together just so that we are not, people need to be around other people, Mm -hmm. and they're going mad, and then they do thinking it's kind of safe, and that's how it's spreading, and I don't blame people. Mm -hmm. Parents are getting together so that their kids can have some, like, kids are going crazy Mm -hmm. in this. It's not, it's not fair. I don't, I don't think it's, we were told two weeks. We have receipts here on Dumpster Fire. We were all for the two week flattening the curve. Mm-hmm. I and this is one of my biggest regrets is that I really was naive and stupid enough to believe that that was all they wanted. And now I can't help but feel like everyone who is raging at that time and saying no, they just want to see how much power that power taken is rarely seen. It like given back. Uh-huh. And I was like, no, these are our leaders. They want what's best for us. I'm an idiot. I mean, I, <laughs> that has been my biggest my biggest lesson in this. And then they wonder why we don't trust institutions, science, or them. Because yeah. why would we? 